Welcome to a short presentation of how to rig, cable and array an outline mini compass system. Housed inside the mainframe, or sometimes known as the bumper bar, are the three pickup points used to connect to the top cabinet of our array. These are accessed by removing the locating pin, turning the point over, and then repinning so they sit proud of the bar. Each locating pin must be secured in place with the safety pin. Turning the flybar over, you'll find a series of holes running along the spine. These are used to locate the single point pickup that in turn attaches to the hook of the winch. Please refer to your open array prediction to guide you to which hole the pickup point should be located. Push the location pin through and again safety this on the other side. We can now start to attach the cabinets. Bring the flight case, housing the mini compass, directly under the bar. Lower the mainframe so the front of the mini compass lines up with the front two pickup points of the bar. By using the integral ball lock pins from the cabinet, place this through the cabinet's front points and into the mainframe's front pickup points. Moving to the rear of the cabinet, attach the pickup point from the mainframe into the hole located towards the top of the cabinet. The rear connection bar dictates the angle between the cabinets. Again, please refer to your open array prediction for required angles on each cabinet. As you winch the first two cabinets up, attach the rear connecting bar from the first to the second cabinet. You're now ready to repeat the procedure for the next two cabinets. Before winching, a simple safety check to see all pins are located is recommended. attach the next four cabinets using the same procedure as before, but this time after the sixth cabinet is in place, the task of wiring the mini compass should start. Each mini compass requires power, signal and data control. The mains power inlet is located on the right of the amplifier module and is in the form of a Nutric power com. There's also a power outlet to link to the next cabinet. Outline recommend up to three cabinets to share the same power source. Audio signal and data control can be found on the left of the module. Again, both have inputs and outputs for linking the cabinets. This time the signal can be paralleled to all cabinets or zoned, as you see fit. Data must be linked to all cabinets if you want to remotely control all of the cabinets. Turning the array so the front is now facing you, we can set the horizontal dispersion of the individual mini compass. By simply pulling on the lever located on the side, the louvre can move in 15 degree increments at a time, creating the desired dispersion required. Your open array prediction will again advise on the dispersion needed. Once set, all that is left to do is to connect the final two cabinets to the array, using the same procedure as the first six. Add the power, signal and data feeds and winch into the desired trim height. 